Now it's true what they say, punk bands don't do a whole lot of covers, okay? They care about their original voices a lot more than the voices of somebody else. You know that punk rock artists value authenticity and originality almost above everything else. But sometimes you know they want to pay tribute to the things that inspired them. A couple of the things that brought them to the dance. Now, sometimes when punk bands do this, they cover other punk songs, which is very, very tricky to do, and other times they cover other genres, which is actually easier to do. So today, I've divided today's video into two sections. Punk bands covering punk songs, and punk bands covering non-punk songs, okay? But all of these punk songs I'm gonna be talking about today are good, okay? That might be a spoiler, because a lot of the time we talk about the trash, we talk about the cringe, and we like to point and laugh at things. But today, I want to push you into the direction of some good covers, okay? My name is Dan Frampton. I'm the Friendly Neighborhood Gatekeeper. You can like, comment, and subscribe if you want. You can always take those back if you feel like you need to be a little bit more stingy with your likes. I get it, you know? I'm a little bit stingy with my likes sometimes, but if you feel like you have more likes to give than you have, like, capacity for, you can join the channel, okay? You can become a member of the Secret Society. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's talk about punk bands covering punk songs. Now, one of the reasons why this is so hard to do is because you don't want to do a one-to-one -one version of a punk song, you know what I mean? You always want to put your spin on it. Because like I said, punks value authenticity and originality above anything else, pretty much. So you want to put your own spin and your own voice on it. So all the ones I'm going to talk about are examples of bands that did that effectively, okay? The first song I want to talk about, because I was recently going down a bad religion rabbit hole, is the bad religion song, We're Only Gonna Die. Now there are two covers of this song that you can go out and check out if you want. There's a sublime version, We're Only Gonna Die, of our arrogance, and then there's a biohazard version, We're Only Gonna Die, because of our own arrogance. But they're all versions of this song. Now, if you listen to the Bad Religion version, you might be tricked into thinking that this is Minor Threat. This kind of sounds like way back in the day, kind of like Minor Threat style hardcore. And then the Sublime version, of course, is a reggae kind of ska type version. And then Biohazard does like a New York hardcore version of it. Three completely different styles of punk, three completely different versions of the song, all masterfully executed, okay? Now the next bunch of songs I want to talk about are actually all by the same band. These are all by Kid Dynamite. Now Kid Dynamite put out this little compilation called Cheap Shots Youth Anthems, which is like a collection of B-sides, things that didn't make records, you know? There's some covers on here as well. They do a cover of Rise Above by Bad Religion that, in my opinion, is better. Now that might be a little bit blasphemous to say, but if I want to listen to a version of this song, I'm going to be listening to the Kid Dynamite version. And the same could be said when they covered the Circle Jerks uh, Deny Everything. Deny everything, deny everything. I'm gonna be listening to the Kid Dynamite version like a hundred times out of a hundred, okay? Keith Morris, get out of here, buddy. I don't cares about you. All I cares about is some Kid Dynamite because they're named after a professional wrestler named Dynamite Kid, who is actually who is actually not really that great of a guy, but you know, he was a legendary wrestler. Then they covered Hateful by The Clash, and again, this is way better than The Clash version, in my opinion, okay? And then speaking of Minor Threat, they covered some Minor Threat. They did I Don't Want to Hear It. I Don't Want to Hear It! <laughs> I love it so much. So good. But this is the first one where I actually prefer the original to this band covering it. Minor Threat, there's never going to be a band that tops them, okay? They're pretty much way up there at the tippy top of like best punk bands of all time, okay? And then finally, the last cover song I want to talk about off of Cheap Shots, Youth Anthems by Kid Dynamite is their cover of the Dead Kennedy song, Macho Insecurities. All the times that I get to listen to this song are going to be the Kid Dynamite version, okay? So that concludes section one. Punk bands covering punk bands, but doing their own version of the song and doing it successfully. 
Now, I want to talk about punk bands covering pop songs, covering other different kinds of songs, okay? Covering classics and oldies, all right? First one I want to talk about is the most recent entry. I don't know if you know this band. They're kind of like a pop punk emo type band of today. They're not really that big. They're called Pity Party, but they're one of my favorite bands going right now. And on their new EP, all right, the last song on it is called Toxic. And yes, you know it. It's Toxic by Britney Spears, and I think they do such a good job with this song. There's like Spanish style guitars all over this thing, but like done pop punk style. I love it, I think it's awesome. Now, you can't have a whole video about punk rock covers and not talk about Me First and the Gimme Gimmies, okay? Now, I saw Me First and the Gimme Gimmies way back in the day, and they've always been doing this whole cover another artist's thing, okay? Now, the one song I wanna talk about is Blowin' In The Wind by Bob Dylan. I just had to pick one song out of all the songs that they've covered, and that's gonna be the one that I wanna direct you to. I think that is my favorite version that they've ever done of anything, but that might be because Bob Dylan is my favorite artist to have ever done anything ever. Now, talking about me first and the Gimme Gimmies and that side of the punk world, we're gonna be talking about Pennywise and their classic cover of the classic, Stand By Me. Now, punk rock, cover songs, this is like one of the first ones that I will ever think of. And I can't hear the original without thinking of the Pennywise version of it. I think that this song is so great. And staying in that side of punk rock, staying in that lane, California skate punk kind of lane, we're gonna be talking about Lag Wagon. Now, they took the Van Morrison song, Brown Eyed Girl, cranked it up to a million and did their own little version of it and I think they did a great job with it. I don't think it's as strong as Pennywise doing Stand By Me. That's kind of classic, iconic, timeless type stuff. But Lagwagon does do a pretty good job with this cut. Oh, I misplaced this song. This song that I'm about to mention um, belongs in the first in the first section, okay? This is a punk band covering a punk song. This is Green Day doing Knowledge by Operation Ivy, all right? And the fact that they care so little about doing this while they're recording it, you know what I mean? It's just like so sloppy, the lyrics are just barely sung. It just adds so much charm to it, you know what I mean? And actually makes the song sound like what they mean it to sound like. So I actually think that like the Green Day version might be the superior version because of how little they're trying, how much effort they're not putting into it, you know? How much they're just belching and just not trying whatsoever on this cut. It's just like, yeah, that's what Operation Ivy wanted to be, but everybody liked them. So then they had to be this good band. They didn't want to be a good band. They just wanted to get together and f off for a little bit. And now people like them and we gotta be serious. I don't want that to happen. So Green Day encapsulated that really, really well in their version of Knowledge. Now, the last song I wanna talk about, it could be considered in either section of this, depending if you think proto-punk is punk or whatever. I'm not here to have that argument. But you know the song My Generation by The Who? Talking about my generation, that song there? Well, Patti Smith, yes, THE Patti Smith, did a cover of My Generation that might be the most punk rock song I have ever heard in my entire life, ever, okay? This thing is so abrasive. This thing is so gnarly. This thing is so in your face, okay? This thing has so much attitude that it just like rubs your face in the cement and then kicks your ass while you're down, pulls your pants down, gives you a wedgie, and then hangs you up by the, like, the, 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 the telephone wire or whatever, okay? That's how much of a bully this song is. I absolutely love it. I can't suggest it any harder, okay? I love it. My Generation, as done by Patti Smith, incredible stuff, absolutely timeless. Great song, and anybody that does this song does a good job of this song. But the Patti Smith version is just, by leaps and bounds, one of the coolest things to ever be recorded. I might turn all these into a playlist. If I did that, there will be a link down there below. If not, there won't be a link. Okay, until my next upload, watch these other uploads over here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye for now.